Hey guys, welcome to the second Cook With Me video. Today I'm going to be making an easy meatloaf that I saw on Toby and Rue's blog. And all you need is the ingredients you see here. So lean mince, bacon, I chose smoked bacon because I think it tastes a bit nicer. Cheese, onion, breadcrumbs, egg, tomato puree, and the seasonings. All right, let's get started on this meatloaf. So I'm going to add in the mince to the bowl, and then we're going to add in all the rest of the ingredients except for the cheese and the bacon. So we've got our onion, breadcrumbs, egg, and the tomato puree. to get a good meatloaf and it's really satisfying is to dig in and use your hands. So add in a few seasonings. Now in Harriet's recipe she said to use mixed herbs. I don't have mixed herbs and I also never measure my spices and herbs so I would follow her recipe because it probably tastes really good but as I don't have mixed herbs and I never measure I'm just going to go with what I normally do and it should. It should be fine. I'm also adding in a lot of garlic because me and my family we love garlic. Okay, so now that we have everything that we need in the bowl, it's time to get dirty. Then the cheese. Look at all that cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Everybody likes cheese. If you don't like cheese, I don't think we can be friends. Sorry. Right, so now that the cheese is in, put the rest of the meat. This is not for the health conscious. But everybody needs a bit of indulgence every now and then. And I think the weekend is the perfect time for that. So at the moment, Leighton's having a nap. He always playing Thomas Trains with Dad. And I'm in here doing what I do best. Or what I think I do best. They might disagree sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now... We have all the meatloaf mixture in the pan underneath the bacon. So now we're going to put some more bacon on the top. And it's going to be amazing. And there we go. Meaty parcel all finished. So now that this is all prepared and ready, I'm going to wrap it in foil which keeps the bacon from burning. And so now we'll pop this into the oven. It's at 200 degrees of gas mark 6 for an hour and a half. 
And while this is cooking, I'm also going to prepare some garlicky baby potatoes to be roasted to go with this. So now that the meatloaf is cooking, I'm going to start my garlic baby potatoes. So I have about 425 grams. It's up to you really how much you want to use in yours if you want to use these. Uh, this is roughly what me and my family, I hope, will eat. Has ever Naomi? Probably not. She probably won't. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to cut these into decent size, almost like roast, roast potato sized pieces, and just put them in this dish. It's just a basic square glass Pyrex dish that I have coated with fry light just to stop things from sticking. arguing on how to play with the Thomas toys. I went out and I checked on them and Ian wants to play with it logically where you push the trains on the track and pretend they're actual Thomas trains. But Naomi, on the other hand, would rather pretend that the trains are people and that they walk around the house and go down slides, much to Ian's <laughs> disapproval. I tried to explain to him that's what you get when you have a girl. Girls don't play trains the way that boys would play trains. There you go. And fair play if your girls do play trains that the way the boys do, because mine doesn't. So now these are all cut into roughly roast potato sized pieces. So what I'm going to do now is just put a bit of seasoning. I'm going to use tarragon, garlic, salt, and pepper, and then spray it with fry light, give them a good mix, and then they'll pop in the oven to cook along with the meatloaf for about 40 minutes and that is again at the 200 degrees same as the meatloaf so you just throw it all in at once. are ready now so I'll just pop those in the oven and I'll put some veg on to boil as well which I won't bother putting in the video because boiling veg nobody wants to see that so here it is the finished meatloaf and roast potatoes how is it Naomi Good. yummy mm, yeah. how is it dad how is it Papa? Yeah. I can't wait to tuck in. We all loved this meatloaf recipe. It was so good and it was so easy to make. You can find it over on Harriet's blog, tobyandrue.com. I'll put a link down in the description and you can also find it over on my blog, which is thismomproject.co.uk. Give it a go. Really, really yummy.